So before we get into the video, I did want to give a huge shout out to Nadula for sponsoring a portion of today's vlog. They sent over a beautiful red curly unit ready to go fresh out the box. Um, you guys are going to see, we're going to install it a little later, but I did want to give them a shout out for always providing such great quality wigs. You guys always love my curly units and Nadula gets it done every time. Make sure you check out the description box and let's get into the video. So today we have another dancer vlog. I just made my little breakfast, my yogurt ball. I missed this. This is my first time doing the peach one with the peach shavings. I saw this online. I've done these bowls for years now. I've done them on and off for years now. But like I said, I've never done the peach shavings, but it looked good. So for breakfast, I'm having this. What you guys saw me make, we have vanilla, non-fat greek yogurt walnuts coconut shavings chia seeds for fiber peach shavings and drizzle honey and then turmeric which is anti-inflammatory so some of you guys may know i was recently diagnosed with pcos and i've been for a few years like focusing on my diet and health but now i'm happy about to have to really focus on it because the symptoms got a little crazy so i picked up a few things to make sure i'm implementing every day that are geared towards anti-inflammatory diet less bloating high fiber diet something to level out my insulin hormones my insulin levels to balance out my hormones and things of that nature one of the things i also picked up was this super green from bloom you guys have probably seen this all over the internet but basically what this is it's like a super green food powder it's a substance a natural substance blended from fruits and vegetables this is the berry flavor so this is like super digestive it's good for energy it's good for bloating all that and when you have pcos you deal with a lot of these things um a super green is something i've wanted to try and for whatever reason haven't but like i said i'm not playing no more i have to take my shit serious so we're taking one scoop it smells good dumping it in here one scoop with h12 fluid ounces i'm just gonna do this one today i'm just gonna do this in the morning i picked up some other things too a lot of it gets in tomorrow i just went shopping and got everything i need or that i feel like would help me for what i'm going through i got my blood work back so i know exactly what i'm lacking in can kind of adjust my diet from there but really i feel like focusing on anti-inflammatory high fiber and things like that is what's going to help me manage my pcos symptoms um and i just taking my frother I'm gonna froth this up but I've heard about bloom like for some time now and like I said it's something I've wanted to try but I've always thought like oh I eat my fruits and veggies so it doesn't matter but having the symptoms I have it does matter and I could always use more fiber so with that being said I've been juicing things that are geared towards PCOS and things like that That actually tastes good. I can do that. So we're getting our greens in for the day. This was, I think, $30. I got it from Target. You could probably get it on Amazon as well. And then I got two eggs that I put in the microwave. Um, I know y'all are probably like, girl, what the fuck? But I'm not feeding this to nobody but me. And if that's how I'm going to do it, that's how I'm going to do it. But... Eggs are not super high in protein, but some, some protein is better than none. So I'm going to eat this. We are going back to work this weekend. Mixed emotions about it, but it's whatever. Um, I was like, you know what? If I got to go back to work, let me just go ahead and get a vlog in. Now, the thing is, my club is doing construction right now. So as far as like... Sorry, y'all. I'm all over the place. But my club's doing construction right now. So as far as like 
the locker room recording i don't know how much i can do because more than 50 percent of our locker room is now gone We're adding more vip rooms which i'm glad about that but at the same time as far as the whole locker room, locker room shit and me filming in the locker room is going to be hard because it's a weekend so we'll see but i'm bringing y'all along with me so y'all can see But I've already packed my bag. The only thing I have to add is my speaker. And that's it. I went up there yesterday to get my shoes. One pair of my shoes was missing. All I'm going to say is you better not wear them to work. Because you will be having to put on your regular shoes. Because <laughs> you will have to pump off of them. Whoever took my shoes, you better not wear them to work. That's all I'm going to say. But I'm going to enjoy this breakfast. My yogurt ball. My microwaved fried eggs. And I wanted it to work around like seven yeah i'm gonna get to work around like seven or eight probably seven but we'll see this was way too much yogurt but it's been a minute since i did a strip of lot so we're gonna get into it let's taste the egg i love eggs oh i heard that we got our music restriction lifted at work so now we can dance to whatever we want to again so it's about to be turnt tonight First night back in a month, and I'm coming for the bag. If I put myself in that environment, you best believe I'm going to count up. I ain't going up there for nothing. Nope. Okay, y'all, so I just got the shower. Um, I'm running a little late, but it's whatever, because what can I do about it at this point? So, whew, I'm out of breath, too. I'm about to throw on something. I think I'm going to throw on... I think I'm going to throw on just this t-shirt. Actually, no. I'm not throw on this shirt. See what it looks like. I'm trying to leave in the next, like, 15, 20 minutes. It's not looking like that's going to happen, but I'm still going to try my best before the house fee goes up to a million dollars. I know my makeup look hard, looks harsh, but in the club it won't look as harsh. I want to wear booty shorts. I don't want to wear these. Okay, got me some comfortable booty shorts. Okay, all right. I got on something comfortable and cozy. I would honestly wear this to sleep. But yeah, I'm gonna spray my face one more time with this Morphe setting spray. Put on some deodorant. And my perfume and stuff is in my work bag, so I'm not even gonna bother that right now. Let me see. I am going to slap this wig on and then double check everything and we'll be out the door. Y'all, I'm kind of like nervous because I have not been to work in like a month and I'm nervous a little bit. I mean, I'd be nervous even when I don't take breaks from work, but when you take a break, it's like, Jesus Christ. I was gonna glue the wig down, but honestly, I think I'm just gonna put the wig on. I don't know if I wanna glue it down. I wanna take it off when I get back home tonight and it's glueless anyway. So I don't know if I'm gonna do all that. This is the wig we're wearing tonight. Shout out to Nadula Hair for sponsoring this portion of today's video. This is super cute. So I did not film myself layering it or finger coiling it because I was nervous. And for whatever reason, I style the wigs better like when I'm fully concentrating like when I record myself styling the wigs it makes me a little nervous for whatever reason but I did not feel myself styling this but if you want a tutorial on me styling it I'll be more than happy to provide that but basically what I did is I cut the wig in face framing layers and then I applied oil um, it was actually body oil but who's going with my ass nobody I applied body oil to it and then I applied water and conditioner. I combed it all the way through and I took each individual like chunk of hair and like did like this to the whole strand. And then I like dried it and picked it out. So this is what we're left with. I did that yesterday. And so if you want more volume, you can just kind of like play with it, pick it out, make it a little bigger, which I kind of want more volume because I kind of want it to stand out. And if you wanted to just go out the door like this, you could, but I am going to, like I was saying, I'm going to claw clip it and uh, spray it down 
with got to be spray i'm not gonna apply any glue or anything because like i said i want to be able to take this off at the end of the night when i get home but as a dancer it's nice to be able to switch up your hair and kind of go with however your mood is um the doula hair has hella different options you guys have seen them on my channel before but this wig came completely like plucked completely customized the baby hairs this this was them i did not do that they did that and for a girl like me y'all see right now i'm rushing i ain't got time to be doing a whole bunch of shit this wig was already ready to go and i really appreciate that so like now i just spray it up here and for it to be a closure the lace part is still pretty wide honestly but let it sit like that I'm not going to do the edges right now because I kind of want them to be fluffy. But I'm going to take the little edge wrap that comes with the wig and just wrap it and that'll be it. I'm telling you, if you, are, if you like have a busy schedule and you're always on the go, I'm telling you, Nadula got some really, really cute ready to go wigs. I didn't have to cut this. I didn't have to cut this and do all the finger coiling and stuff. That's just the style that I chose to do with it. The wig was ready to wear out the package. But I just sprayed it. And now I'm going to sit this on it for a little bit. And while that's sitting there, I'll just pick this out some more. Because like I said, I want it kind of big. But yeah, make sure you guys check out the description box below. Um, if you like the direct link to this unit. On my video where I did my luxury apartment empty tour and a stripper vlog all in one, you guys went crazy over the hair. And that was a curly wig similar to this one, but I'd style them the exact same. So if you liked that wig, you're gonna absolutely love this wig. Super soft and get into the curl. You know what I mean? It's cute. But yeah, I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and then while that's sitting, I'm gonna go gather up my stuff and make sure everything is together. But yeah, super quick, super easy. I'll show you guys the final product, obviously, but we're on a time crunch. But I just wanna let y'all know, cause y'all be like, oh my God, the curly wig, where'd you get that? The curly wig, where'd you get that? Nadula has a lot of great curly wigs that you don't have to customize. Cause I realize a lot of people just like me, y'all don't feel like doing all that shit. Like me, I'm running late to work. I don't have time to be plucking and bleaching and customizing and creating a widow's peak and doing all that. Nadula just does it for me. So I forever love Nadula for that. And then they also send you over these little gifts, which these lashes I'm actually wearing, they sent these over too. Um, but you get two edge bands, this one, and then this little animal print one, a makeup brush, and then your two wig caps. So you get a cute wig, these lashes, it's cute too. So I can look at all the tricks and have them mesmerized with my lashes. <laughs> but I'm about to double check my stuff and then I'll come back and show y'all the end result and then we'll head to work. Hello. Am I in the cell? Yeah. What up y'all? Y'all know what the fuck going on. This lip balm kiss brother. <laughs> you know, um. Yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And if you don't like, comment, subscribe. I will find out where you live in. And yeah, so go ahead. Y'all heard him. Y'all heard him. But this was the final look. I'm about to talk to him and then I'm heading out to work. I want to make sure well, I have everything. Shower. I'm literally finna get off the of fear. Huh? What? I said I was finna share. You said you was finna talk to me. So you lying to your fans? No, you just, I just answered. Okay, my bad. Wait, so are you really finna get in the shower? Yeah, I'm really finna get in the shower. I'm glad I just broke my glasses. You broke your glasses? Yes. Yeah. I know that's salty. But okay, I, I thought you was calling to chop it up. No, I was just giving you up a follow-up call. I'm screaming. Yeah, I'm finna try and leave here in like 10 minutes. But yeah, I'm finna shower and go All right. All right, bro. All right, bro. Like I said, this is the final look. Nadula. It to me is giving fun, cute, flirty, like. Can I have some money? No, but on the road, my dude loves when I wear curly hair. He liked my bald head too, but he loves when I wear curly hair. Way better than straight hair. Because it just gives fun and afro or curly or anything like that he loves. It just gives wild and fun. But um 
thank you again to Dula for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I have to make sure that I have everything I need and then I am out the freaking door. But I'll see y'all at the strip club. <laughs> Hey y'all, so it is Sunday. It is like 5.40, I think, or 6. No, it's 6 p.m. I had switched my hair. Um, the big hair was super cute and I feel like everyone liked it. It was just so hot because, like I said, they're remodeling in our locker room. So like the AC is not working upstairs and it was just too hot. So I got this little short bob in. Um, I'm letting it sit for a little bit. Let me see if it's done. I'm on the phone with my mom if you guys hear some little rattling. But yeah, this is the vibe. I had to turn her down for a second. But anyways, I'm about to go by the vape shop and grab me a vape and head to work. I did a light beat today because the full beat was just too hot for all that. So we got light beat, lashes, lip gloss. That's it. But the weekend is going real good. I cannot wait to do a money count with you guys at the end of this. Um, I cooked tilapia. I ate it earlier. I might grab like some wings or something to eat it with y'all in the locker room if there's space. <laughs> Hopefully there's space because we are going through it in the locker room today. I mean, we're going through it in the locker room here recently due to all the construction. But I'm about to gather my things and head there. Hopefully my vape is in the car because I don't want to stop. I will if I have to, but I don't want to. But yeah, that's it. So I'll see y'all at work. Let's go. Now, before we get into this money count, the big bag money count, I have to give a huge shout out to Dossier for sponsoring this portion of today's video. You guys have seen them a million times and it's because I love them, okay? Anytime I want to unwind after a long weekend of work like this weekend, y'all, it was crazy. When I got back home, I was like, I have to light me a candle, I have to set up my diffuser and just relax and get the vibes going. Cause sometimes work can be kind of hectic. So for me, Dossier provides like an extra touch in my home when it comes to like self care and setting the vibe and like just relaxing pretty much. This particular scent of diffuser is Ambry Vanilla. It's inspired by YSL's Black Opium. And you guys, it smells amazing. I have the perfume too. The diffuser did just the job, okay? Thank you again, Dossier, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And for those of you that are interested, make sure you check out my discount code to make sure you save some money off at checkout, okay? Thank you again so much, Dossier, for sponsoring this portion of today's video and always providing that self-care touch in my home. Okay y'all, so it is now Tuesday. I worked Sunday, Monday I took off. Cause I was so t tired from working Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Saturday, we did okay, but I left really early. I was really tired, the liquor, it was just too much. So I left super, super early Saturday. Still made it back, but did leave early. Sunday, I left at like, I want to say two or three it was like it was like in between like 2 30 and 3. we closed at five well we closed at three but we have after hours from three to five so i believe i left at like i feel like i was in my car driving at three so i i should i probably left at like 2 30 or something actually i can see what time i clocked out because they email us whenever we clock out like our receipt from checking out let's see yeah so i clocked out at 2 58 in the morning but i had to wait in line to clock out because a lot of us were leaving around that time yeah so there was kind of a line to clock out so i waited a little bit but 
I had ordered chilies. It was super good. I got two meals. I nibbled on both of them and then I ate them for leftovers um, after work and it was freaking bomb. So I got my money counter out right here. Y'all already know the drill because we have some ones. Ugh. So I have a money counter out right here. I'm ashy. I haven't brushed my teeth. Mind your fucking business. Don't act like you haven't woke up and started your day without starting your day, okay? It happens to the best of us. I just got home not too long ago. Let me get my bag from Sunday. Ouch, oh, shit. And we will count this together and then we'll count the money from the weekend. So this is our bag. Doesn't look like shit, I know. I know, I know, I know. Here, it doesn't look, bags don't be looking like a lot for real until you bust them down. And now you're looking like, okay, okay. But it's 10 o'clock in the morning. If I can like get done with what I need to get done today and go to sleep, I'm, I really just might go to work tonight. But I don't know, I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like I should take care of that house and meal prep and chill and then go back to work tomorrow. It should be illegal for my forehead to be this big. Okay, so let's separate big bills from the regular. <gasps> So I'm putting my big bills over here. Actually, I'm gonna separate it by like actual bills. So like 20s, 100s, 1s, 5s, and 10s. This weekend was really cool for it to be my first weekend back um since i took that long ass time off i honestly didn't think i was gonna even survive three days in a row but it's go time so we in that bit i'd kind of almost rather work tonight and then not go tomorrow but i don't know i probably should just go all of the days because why not yeah I only closed, the only day I actually stayed was the day I made the most money, which is Friday. I should have stayed Sunday and I should have stayed Saturday, but I just, y'all, it'd be too much. Hold on, because that's not all my motherfucking money. Hold on. I was about to say, like, be for real. Be fucking for real. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so... First, let's count our big bills. I really don't even have to do the money counter, but I guess I can just for fucking shits and giggles. But let's see what the money counter is in for. Y'all, this thing's so full of shit. Just be messing up. We didn't have that many ones uh, from Sunday. So, I hear you, girl. That's our first hundred. And then let's throw this last little set of ones in here. I know this is nasty, y'all. I know. I cleans my house, okay? I'm gonna clean my house, clean my rugs. Okay. Ninety-four. So I'm gonna add a five to it and just call it a hundred. It's really ninety-nine, but I'm gonna just add a five to it and call it a hundred. I I'll know that in my head. It's weird how like. Like, since this has a five on top, no matter how many other stacks I get, I'm gonna know that this one is a dollar off. It's just how, how my brain works sometimes counting this money. I will add a dollar to it later. Okay. And then we got 100. Oh, here go a dollar. Okay, see, that quick. 
I'll just add it in there real quick. Okay. So that's 100. One, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, three, one, two, three, four, four, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, six, one, two, three, four, seven, one, two, three, four, eight. That's eight hundred, nine hundred, a thousand, and five dollars. So, um, Sunday's bag was a thousand five. Let me get my phone real quick. Okay, I keep track of this in my phone. So, a thousand five. Let me go add that in. Okay, so in my notes, I have it right here. Friday we made 1660. Saturday we meet we made 835. Sunday we made 1005. This is just Sunday's bag. Um I don't have Friday or Saturday's bag no more, but I did record it in my phone so that you guys can see what the weekend was hitting for. So let me calculate that all together. It just sucks to Saturday and Sunday I could have stayed in done better, but 835 plus 1005 that's 3500 um in the weekend i ain't mad at it and i got to leave early some days i ain't mad at that at all so yeah that is pretty much it this weekend was pretty cool i don't have no crazy stories or nothing like that typical strip club bullshit um i'm excited for them to be done with the remodeling of the club though because we'll have i guess like a few extra vip rooms which a lot of y'all don't know the what the big fuss with the vip rooms at my club is Honestly, I feel like it's a good problem to have. So typically like on a Friday or Saturday night, that's usually the only days where there's actual waits because that's when the most girls come. But on Friday and Saturday nights, you might have like an hour wait before you get into your VIP. So let's say you and your customer go pay for a VIP room. They're so backed up that they give you a buzzer like when you're at a restaurant. And it's like, you have to wait and you have to either convince them to give you more money downstairs or tell them like, okay, we have an hour wait. I have the buzzer. Whenever it goes off, I'll come back and get you, but I'm going to go work. Like you kind of have to decide and kind of decipher like whether that customer is going to be worth you sitting down with him downstairs for that entire hour or whether you think you can convince him to buy some tickets and do some dances while y'all wait on the room to be ready or if you feel like you convinced him to spend all he's gonna spend so now you have to tell him sit there and watch you go work with everybody else in, until the room is ready or you have to potentially like waste the hour you know what i'm saying and me i ain't gonna lie i ain't playing that shit i'm not gonna i'm not gonna pay for the room and then just go sit downstairs with you unless you already told me you're gonna tip me like x amount you know what i'm saying but i'm not gonna sit here i'm gonna tell you like hey i'm gonna i know the room we have a wait right now it's about an hour i'm gonna go move around a little bit um try and get a stage set in so that when we go upstairs i'm all yours type shit trying to make it sound sweet but a lot of times they be like i just swipe my card and it happens to be a wait so now you're gonna go talk to other people like that's fucked up but I mean, it is what it is. Like, I can't help that it's a wait. And sometimes it'll be an hour wait just for you to do a 30 minute room, which for you is $125. So you just spent an hour and a half for $125. If he don't tip you. Now, most people here, they take care of you. Um, but like just the whole VIP, the whole waiting situation in my club, it gets really exhausting. So I'm kind of excited to see that they're adding the VIP room. The only downside to that is we will no longer have our kitchen or our other two bathrooms or our other two bedrooms. Cause our, our locker room used to be like a, I don't know if that's technically like a, a loft or no, it's not a loft. I don't know. It was basically an apartment that they turned into a locker room which which is why you guys if you go back in a lot of the thumbnails or a lot of the older videos from when i first started here you'll see a full-blown kitchen like with an oven a double side sink we had a washer and dryer in our locker room we had a refrigerator a freezer it was a two bedroom so there were like two rooms that got turned into locker rooms one of them had a bathroom in it like a full bathroom tub shower everything and then the other bathroom upstairs had like a stand-up shower and a toilet in it like our like to be honest our locker room was better than a lot of apartments i've seen like actual apartments that people live in like our locker room was fucking player but i don't know i feel like you gotta pick your battles because now that we're getting more now that we're getting more VIP rooms, we don't have access to all that locker room space anymore, which means that bitches are crammed up in the locker room because now we have probably like less than a third 
of the size that we used to have. So everyone's just shoulder to shoulder and it's very like annoying kinda, but at the end of the day, we come there for money, not for space in the locker room, honestly. So I'm like, when, I boil, when it boils down to it, I'd rather there be more VIP rooms than bigger locker space. Like if I'm just being 100% honest. I do wish that they could. So there's apartments that is connected to our club, like that's outside of the locker room. I wish they could knock those the walls down and turn that into a locker room, which I should probably bring that up to management. I'm acting like I can pull the strings. They don't give a fuck. I'm just playing. <laughs> but no, seriously, yeah, that's that's so that's the latest tea. I know y'all seen like it wasn't a whole bunch of locker room footage, but that's because like the locker room is so crammed now. It's ridiculous. You guys would probably like it but it would make filming and editing so much harder because it's just nipples and ads and stuff just all in the background. And it's, everything's just way more crammed together. Like before I could put my hand up and cover a girl walking by. Now everyone's like shoulder to so shoulder. So it's just, it just made it completely different. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this stripper vlog. I haven't done a raw, just straight stripper vlog. No other shit in a long time. Um, so yeah, I like to sprinkle that in. Can't forget where I came from, how I started on YouTube, which was those vlogs. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm about to handle the house and get some rest because your girl is tired, okay? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed going to work with me. And I hope you enjoyed going to work with me and I'll see you in the next video.